Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Revive Man. Today I'm gonna to show you how to download the N64 standalone app for Xbox dev mode. Alright, bet so in this video, what you will need is these three files right here. This is the actual app and the dependencies. And then also if you're using a USB, I highly recommend having this. I will put this in the link in the description as well. These are just custom USB folders for the app itself so that you don't have to do this internally. All right, so what you wanna do is make sure to drag this onto your USB. And then what we're gonna do for these two files is we're gonna head over to the access portal and we're gonna install them to dev mode. I bet now that we're at the device portal, what we're gonna do is right under my games and apps, click on add. And then I'm gonna open up this folder that has my files that we need. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag this N64 powered by lib retro right into here and then click on next. And then now we're gonna do is drag in that other file that Microsoft VC libs right into the dependencies and click on start. Give it about a minute. I bet now that that's finished, what we're gonna do is head over to the Xbox. I bet now that we're back on the Xbox, make sure to plug in your USB. And what we're gonna do is head down to the N64. And then what you wanna do first is press the select button on it, go down to view details. Make sure to change it from an app to a game. Unless your Xbox dev mode is set like that by default, then don't worry about it. And then what we're gonna do is open it right up. I bet now that we're on this screen, what we're gonna do is head down to the import games, click on it. Click on this, and then what we're gonna do is set our games directory, so click A on this. Usually your drive should be the E drive, and then wherever your games folder is, go to that, and go to where the folder is that contains your N64 games, and then click on browse this directory. All right, so for the emulator part, you have two cores. If you like, changing the resolution, going full screen, adding texture packs, and a lot more customization, then I recommend choosing the Mupin 64 Plus. But if you don't care about all those things and you wanna play how it is true to the N64, what you can do is select parallel. So for me, I'm gonna do Mupin 64, and then I don't need to select any of these. And then what we're gonna do is click on create games list. Now at the bottom, you should see a little thing showing that it is scanning your games. And then once it's done, what you can do is press B, Press B again, and then now we're back at the main menu. All right, bet, so now what we're gonna do is set up our directories to the ones we have for our USB. So what we're gonna do is press the right bumper two times, click on user interface, go to settings, and then what we're gonna do is enable the show user and show directories. Now press B, press B again. Now if you go down to user, you can change your language if you need to. And then for accounts, if you have retro achievements, what you could do is sign into your account so that you could go for achievements while you're playing on the app. Now what we're gonna do is press B, press B again, get out of the user settings, and now we're gonna head down to directory. All right, so for the directories, for the games list, you do not have to worry about this one. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our texture pack one, our save states, and our thumbnail. I bet, so the first one I'm gonna do is the thumbnail, so click A on this. Now press A multiple times on parent directory until you get to the drive letters. Go to the E drive. Now go to your N64 folder for your USB. Go into the thumbnails folder. And then click on use this directory. Now we're gonna do the same things, but for the save states. Go to parent directory all the way to the drives. Go to your N64 folder. Go to your save states folder. Go to use this directory. Do the same things with the saves. Do the same things with the save files. Use this directory. I bet, so adding the texture pack directory is a little bit weird because even if you have pre-made folders, it will just create a folder inside of that. So what we're gonna do is click on texture pack, go to parent directory until we get all the way to the drives, go to the E drive, go into your N64 folder, go into the data folder and go to use this directory. And now what we're gonna do is head into our games list by going all the way back to the settings tab. Press left on the D-pad to go to your games list. Go into a game. Make sure to press the quick menu 
by pressing select and start at the same time. Go to emulator options. Now go down to glide N64 and click on this. Now press up on the D-pad so you could go all the way down pretty fast and then head up till you see use high res textures and turn this on. And then once you turn this on, press B, go to manage emulator options, then click on save game options. Now what we're going to do is quit out of the app and then start that same game that you just changed the settings for right up. And then what that's going to do is create the Mupin64 plus folder that we need inside of the data folder. And then once that's finished, then what we're going to do is quit out of the app and plug in our USB right into the computer so we can finish up setting up our texture pack folders and then we should be good to go. I bet now that we're back on the computer, what you want to do is make sure to plug in your USB. And then once you go into your N64 folder, go into your data folder, and then now you should have a Mupin64 plus folder created inside of it. That's exactly what we needed. So now what you want to do is click into this. And then inside of this, we need to create two folders. So right click, go to new folder, and then name this one cache. C-A-C-H-E, click enter. And then now for the last folder, what we're going to do is go to new folder. And then we're going to name this high res underscore texture. And then once we created these folders, you're pretty much good to go. If you have a texture pack that's an HTS file, what you could do is put that in the cache folder. And then if your texture pack is just a big folder with all the images, you would put that right here under the high res underscore texture. And once you do that, you can unplug your USB, put it right back into your Xbox, and then we're going to just finish up the rest of the settings. I right, bet now that we're back on the app, what we're going to do is press right on the D-pad. Click into the Nintendo 64 games list folder and then you should see your games and your cover art if you haven't. And then what we're going to do is just launch into a game and show you that it works. Alright, now what we're going to do is open up the quick menu by pressing start and select at the same time. Now that we're at the quick menu, if you head down to emulator options, if you're using the Mupin 64 core, what you could do is head down to Glide N64. And then from here, you can change your wide resolution, your aspect ratio, and a lot more other settings. So what I'm going to do personally is I already changed my wide resolution to 1920 by 1080. I changed my aspect ratio to wide adjusted. And then all the way at the very bottom, I have use high res textures enabled. And then after you selected your settings, what you would do is press B, go up to manage emulator options, and click on save game options. And doing it this way is per game settings, so this will not affect other games. You will manually set these for each game the way you would want to play them. After you do this, you can press B, press B again. And then also what you could do is you could do save states. You could change the controls for all four controller ports. Any overrides just in case you change settings and you need to override your file. And then also a cheats tab. I'm not going to go over the cheats today, so I'll definitely do this in another video. Then if you wanted to quit out of the game and go into another game, once you're in the quick menu, you would press B again, and then you'll get right back into your games list, and then you can select another game that you would like to play. And then the way you would quit out of the app is you would just press the Xbox button, hover over the app, and just quit it. And that's pretty much about it. I hope this video helped. If it did, please give this video a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that follow for more videos. If you guys need any help, please let me know down in the comments below.